everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul video from you and this haul video comes from Home Bargains. Yes, I went there to go and purchase a couple of vases and jars and just see what little knickknacks that they have because I'm redoing my room or continuing to redo my room and I wanted to see what they have. So I picked up a few bits and pieces as well as stuff from my room. I've got some kind of like maybe present ideas for Christmas or birthdays and just little bits and pieces in general. So sit back and enjoy. Right, first up, I'm going to show you nothing that great, but just some stain, some stool scorers for those really hard to wash off pirate dishes. I've got these, I think they're probably a pound or under, so I'll pick these up. So nothing to do. I, what I also bought, anyway, I picked this up because there's a few projects that I want to get started. I, and these are 2 dollars for how many grams? One kilogram. One kilogram for two nut nights of Dead Sea salt. Some Himalayan salt detoxifying for smooth, radiant, healthy looking skin. Naturally rich in over 80 minerals. Pure, genuine, A grade Himalayan pink crystal salt. So this one I got there. Again, it's one kilo, it's 2 dollars same price. Um, I've got to read this one out to you. The Dead Sea Salt is soothing, softening and soothing for dry, itchy skin. Suitable for use on skin prone to eczema and cirrhosis. Pure, genuine Dead Sea Salt and naturally rich in minerals. So if you suffer from dry skin or itchy skin, eczema or cirrhosis and you haven't tried it, buy some minutes, put some in your bath and give yourself a good. So again, these are $2.99 while some pacing around the aisles like you do um i found these body bath and body travel bottle set a pack of three make your own tinted moisturizer by adding your moisturizer and your foundation you know it's great and you get three of those and i think again these were i don't even think these were a pound i'm sure they were like 79p or something like that okay also i purchased the clean and clear if you've seen my other video my facial care and my hair care video these feature in it I've been using clean and clear since I was a young woman teens as well um, so black hair clearing daily scrub the exfoliating daily wash and also the deep cream deep action cream wash I absolutely love 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 clean and clear it really just works on my skin when I went to home bargains I but you know what, I'm not going to write, I'm going to take one aisle at a time and I'm going to stroll, I'm going to see what they have. And I came across these body mists. It's Anovia Fragrance Body Mist. This one with fruit extracts. Marua and Argon. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, sensual. Uh, Marua and Argon. I don't know what Marula is. I've never heard of it. I've probably gone and look that up. And it's paraben free as well. These were 80, how much was these, 89p, something like that? It's a bit cheap, or pounds. So I haven't even tried these out. I just picked them up, I didn't even try them. I thought, you know what, let me just buy them. I didn't even try them out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my, this was like some expensive perfume. Oh, this is really nice. I don't know how long the smell will last. It's one of those, you know, if it's hot and it's sweaty and you don't want to bring your nice perfume, this smells like a really nice, expensive perfume. Now this one is coconut water, um, it's just cocoa, smells so gorgeous body mist with coconut oil, again it's 150 ml. This is nice, it smells how you expect it to smell, you know when you um, buy um, products with coconut, when you buy products with coconut in it, they tend to smell very similar, so like whether it's a shampoo or a conditioner, yeah it smells very like you're not surprised by this smell actually. Over as well, fragrance body mist with three extracts. And this is light and refreshing, passion fruit and pineapple paraben free. So this is what this one looks like. I'm get a little spray. Oh gosh. Oh, this was so nice. The thing is, it smells like an ice lolly. You know, you used to get them, them exotic fruits and ice lollies back in the day when they were actually full of flavour, not like today, they're just full of water with some flavour in it. Oh, this was really, really, really nice. This one is neither of these mates. This is, um, <laughs> it says, it's got a warning on it. It says, our products are so fruity and juicy, you might be tempted to eat them. Well, don't, they are not, they are not food, honestly. NSPA fruit extracts, luscious, fresh clementine fragrance body mist, real fruit goodness, and natural vitamins for your skin. This is 200 mils. It's created in the UK. 
So this is quite nice. This is lovely. If you like this type of smell, you will love it. Absolutely love it. I've had bought these perfumes. Um, I bought five actually. Was this six too far? Oh, look at the five. So this one called Virtual Brands Dinky Perfume de Toilette, and that's your spray vaporizer. I bought this, and I bought this one called um, Emporia. Again by Virtual Brands. I haven't smelled, I didn't actually, that's a lie, I did smell the ones in the shop and I just picked them all. These were all 89 pence. They did all smell really, really nice. And I do like some of this cheap perfume has some really great smell. This one's called Sky Blue. And lastly, this one is called Mad Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. So I'm going to spray this one first because it's in my hand. Yeah, this is so nice so these make these will look you know great for like if money is tight and you got some kids you know like maybe 10 11 and you just want to get a little um what's it called again um the stocking stocking fillers these are great for stocking fillers next i'm going to try the sky blue one this first remind me of something more for men Remind me straight away like for men's aftershave, but not as not in a strong scent, but just that kind of smell that a man would wear, but it smells good. Next I'm going for virtual brands pinky. I like how they all got their own little colour tops and much. Oh this is nice. This is fruity. This is a fruity floral smell. This one. Gorgeous. I can't even tell you which is my favourite right now because it all smells so great. And this one is Emporia. Nice purple lid. Oh, this one's a Versace Blue. Do you remember Versace Blue? I mean, yeah, Versace Blue, like they were for men, but I bought myself one because it was so nice. This is the last one, and this one is Flower. I think I've run out of space now. Oh, this one's a baby. Yeah, this night, it reminds me slightly of baby powder. Slightly. It has a baby powder type of feel, like, you know, like the Johnson's and Johnson's baby stuff. It's got that nice, lovely baby, baby smell. I think I should have got six. No, I think I picked all five up. I mean, there were five and I picked all five up. I just put them in the basket. I didn't even think about it. I bought this candle. I think it's one nine to nine or something like this. It's a Tinion Prosecco scented candle. I mean, look at that. Mm. It. it smells like fizzy wine. If you've got anybody who is in love with Prosecco, I'm sure they will appreciate that be great for a little gift little birthday present or Christmas present they had gin and tonic as well as gin and tonic they had in there but I can't really smell that much but I've got a Prosecco because it's like really nice and it's extra dry as well extra dry Prosecco okay also I bought these aqua soft natural feeling sponges um, I bought these I think they were 39 pence each I had loads and when I bought these um, I bought them one for what I can do with my art. When I do my artwork, I like to do a bit of sponging. So these will make fantastic patterns for them. I didn't even think of actually washing myself um, with it. But I bought it for my art. And then I also thought, like, if I'm doing Christmas presents or I'm doing presents for someone, you might want to do it or doing a little hamper or something. These little gifts will go nice. You know, say for example, you say you want to spend £10 and you just want to get a couple of just little trinkets, a little something. These will absolutely go nice. They really, really would. Okay, what am I do next? Okay, I'm gonna do these jars. Okay, I bought these mason jars. I bought, um, uh, I bought a short one, and I bought a tall one, I bought two. Now, the reason why I bought these um, jars, apart from the fact that, you know, you can store stuff in them, is I thought they will make great Christmas presents ideas so say for example you buy a jar and you can fill it up with whatever you want to do you can personalize it to someone's taste say you've got someone's crazy about cookies or biscuits and you might want to do you know get little packets of biscuits or whatever and 
or just get normal biscuits and wrap it up in you know just make it fancy and you can put it in a jar if you're someone who wants to be creative with your gifts and it could be for birthdays well then you know this is an idea and if you want to put more or whatever they got a bigger jar one was 199 and one was 169 or something like that if you bake bake little biscuits bake little muffins put them in there wrap them up boom Christmas present, Christmas gift. I bought this lovely, beautiful, pretty butterfly trinket. So these here are butterflies all around. This is so pretty. Oh, these were a couple of things. Again, did not break the bank. So if you look at this, look, you've got this is one ninety nine. So I know that this price. And you can rip it off and it's also got a to and from label here yeah so then you can give this as a nice little gift if they want to drink out of it they can or if they use it want to use it as an ornament so this is, again is a great little gift if you know people who like these little quirks and they will appreciate something like this get that you know it's um it's hand wash only not suitable for microwave or dishwasher use if you are stuck and getting someone something and you know that they like these little trinkets Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt, job is done, that's it I bought this to put on my dresser as just as an ornament again you can put little bits and pieces, I can put jewellery in there you know, put some my like, earrings in there, all my studs in there this, I saw this vase, it's just plain these were going for £4 or £4.50 I absolutely love it just nice and plain and with these you can put big candles in there if you're really really crafty you know you can decorate the outside if you've got glass paint and you're really really good with your hands really good artistically you can go and probably paint on the outside or you can get something like this and you can decorate it like that yeah um, this is just whatever you know and these you can get these you can get colored ones as well more colored ones but i will stick to clear ones if i was going to do this okay so i you can decorate the bottom the top the middle anyway with these lovely little gemstones here i've also bought like i said to you before i like butterflies i really really do so i found actually i didn't find these first I found something similar there were still butterflies but they had different one had multiple colors and one had another set of colors and I, and I one of them that had multiple colors I almost picked it up straight and I thought oh my gosh these look fantastic I want them on my wallpaper I've got butterflies in my wallpaper um, and I can stick those on it you know just to kind of like bring it alive I might stick it above my bed and <coughs> just as I'm gonna I pick that up <coughs> excuse me I picked that up the one I looked across I found these they had one left and I snapped it up. Um, I don't know if I would actually need more than one. You get one, two, three, four, five lovely butterflies. Um, one, two, three of them are the same. And you, so you've got three of one and two of another. And they, these are light grey. They've got a lovely, I don't even have an example, but it has some really lovely colourful ones like with different colours. Yeah, so they, yeah, so they've got a little food, they've got a sticky stick on. So this is what they look like. I can't wait to experiment with these and try them and put them in my room. Mm -hmm. Now I've got one more thing to show you and that is I have bought this <laughs> giant champagne glass decoration height 50 centimeters. These are like 899. Eight. 99 something like that i bought like this is so cheap like you go online you're spending 15 20 25 quid on something like that i'm not saying that they might not be worth it but if you're someone like me who likes to shop or you know what you want and you know what you want to get you want to try and get as cheap as possible so this is what i've got and i bought this to put a candle in there you know fill it up with a nice little plastic beads you know look at that Yeah, imagine that. How many bowls can I get in that and drink it? I should have done that. Actually, no, I should have done that for my birthday last year. I should have filled it up with my bubbly and just drank out of this glass. I mean, look at this. Can you imagine? You'd have to hold it with both hands. It would be so heavy. Just... Mm. 
lovely and it's great to sit there like this you know put your little things in there stick a candle in there voila your bedroom is looking like a boudoir so that is it i have finished showing you my haul from home markets and you can tell from this big cheesy grin on my face that i am very 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 happy with my purchases um, I'm even thinking like you know I should maybe make regular trips up there just to see what they have thank you everybody for watching my haul I hope you enjoyed all the stuff that I bought because you know what I really enjoyed showing it to you and I really really enjoyed buying them you know what there is therapy in shopping I mean I wasn't feeling down or anything like that but it is therapy in shopping and I loved it the first time I went I was on my own you know did my little thing blah 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 I even said to my friend I said to my friend if I can't take my stuff home I'll come into your house and drop it into yours and then they got a car and they said you can just drop it back to mine the second time I met my two girlfriends down there I said look I'm coming down to your ends go by so we went met up and we went in there and I was just like this is it you know and when stuff isn't so expensive even though I was like oh my god am I spending all this money am I spending about you know what it all has a purpose everything has a purpose you know art you know maybe a little basket for Christmas presents or whatever and just put a little collection together you know it's so many ideas that you can do you know my bedroom you know my bedroom my bedroom a lot of this stuff I went with my bedroom in mind anyway so um I'm waffling on <laughs> It's because I'm so happy and so excited because I've just got all this stuff, you know. I'm really someone, I'm not one of those go-free lucky spenders. I really wish I was. I just can't, like, if I've got a use for it and I just envision in my what I want it for, then, okay, fine, I will spend it. But just to spend for the sake of spending and just sit in my house, I really have a massive problem with that. I don't think I can do it. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because it's late and I need to stop so I can start editing these videos and I shall speak to you soon I shall see you soon don't forget to tune in 